welcome to another episode of Thrifting. I seen um, Child of Eden. I was on about this the other night in um, in a Twitch stream. Um, it was hundred years early stream. It was, I was going on about Res and how that's a spiritual successor to it. Um, it does support the Connect as well, but um, I fancied playing it with a move. So I mean, it's not thrifty. It's I think it's about the same price in CX, but. It was in, in in the charity shop so far. I was giving the one pound fifty for it. Um just in um cash it in, I seen um Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, um based on the movie. Um that one was two ninety nine. CX sell it for four quid. I thought it was a different one. I thought it was um is it um, Return to Cybertron? I, you know, so I get confused with some of these Transformer games, but I mean it was still coming under price, so it was alright. Um Another one, um, two ninety nine, um, Marvel vs Capcom, three, which I I I played I played a bunch of. But every time I get that one, though, I always remember there's an ultimate edition. Um, I was just checking what was in that orange box, but it was um, bullet storm. But yeah, so Marvel Marvel vs Capcom three for a two ninety nine is pretty sweet. Um, this one was good as well, two ninety nine for um, House of the Dead two and three returns, um, ten quid game. In the old CEX, so I picked that one up. Um, there was obviously Super Mario Galaxy <laughs> for um, for two ninety nine. <laughs> it's an epic score. <laughs> Disc weren't that great, but I've I've since got these cleaned up and they come out all right. So it was definitely worth it. But it does price them to condition in here. And um, but I mean I I'm, I don't mind pick, taking a punt on a few scratch games because I can always go get them cleaned at CEX. Um, and 99p for um, Star Wars, Clone Wars, Lego. <laughs> Which, yeah, I mean, it's four quid in CX, so I thought I might as well pick that up as well. But yeah, Mario Galaxy being the main score for 2 Um Cleaned up pretty pretty special. And again, House of the Dead 2 and 3 returns. I think it's actually more than 10 quid. I don't know. Because I've already got it and I traded the other one in. So I, I think I've got 6 quid credit maybe. Some, something like that. It was, it was decent credit. So I traded one of them in and kept the other one. But I, I got it cleaned up while I was there. So yeah, not a bad haul from this one at all, really. Um, which was good because it's been so dry recently. Uh, this was like the first major one where I've actually found something I was going to buy. Um, so I'm just in um, Bernardo's now. And I'm eyeballing that um, Billy Joel 12-inch single. Um... There's, um, there was a yeah there was an ELO one next to it but it was a bit it was like eBay price, um, so I thought I'll just go for the Billy Joe one. It looked unusual as well, and it turns out it was it's a, a remix of Tell Her About It, and it's got um, Easy Money on the other side of it, but um, it was in a plastic sleeve as well. I was like yeah someone's someone's looks after this. <laughs> it's got all crinkly now because it's probably been in that sleeve for like twenty years, but. Yeah, um, oh well, you know how I feel about Billy Joel, so I was like, hell yeah, I'll buy this for three quid. But yeah, it's unusual, like like pink and pink and blue, a weird weird choice of colours. But it's advertising Innocent Man on the on the back, which I've already got, so I can it can sit on the shelf next to Innocent Man. But yeah, it's a weird one to see. I hadn't looked it up or anything, so I don't know if it's um, worth anything. But I mean, I'm just a Billy, Billy Joel fanatic anyway, so I'll just buy that. Um, then in caches, I've seen um, Dead or Alive Dimensions. Um, it was five quid. It is five quid in CEX as well. But I remember at the time when I was collecting all the Dead or Alive games, this one was kind of hard to find. It was a bit slim on the ground on, on eBay, and some places had it priced higher. So I thought, ah, yeah, I don't want. I'll pick this up just in case the price gets mad. Anyway, so I had a, a, a stonking bit of credit. Um, I, had a, I think I had like ninety quid's worth of credit. So I decided to get Super Mario Wonder because um, people were coming round that night. Mate Carl was coming round and we wanted to tr try out the four player. And um, I finally decided to pop on Final Fantasy sixteen. Um, which I've been putting off for ages, but um, I've got a week. I'm, I'm off on holiday now. I've got a week off, so I finally got time to actually play it. <laughs> well, I'm br I'm quickly going to finish off the Final Fantasy VII remix, and right at the end of that, then I'm going to start playing that one. Anyway, so I had a bit of credit left, and I decided on um, Mario Party Nine's what I'm looking for. I keep seeing eights, and I'm like, <laughs> the, the website lied to me. Where is it? There, it's there. Yeah, nine. I'm not really. I'm not really give it a fair crack. I got put off with the fact that it was um it was 
in the car, you know, when you go around the bird. But I was like, you know what? I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna give it another shake, see what's what. Um, I mean, it's weird now because usually when we play Mario Party, it's all on the Switch. But um, I, I can, I can set the Wii up again, and we'll have a go. Probably set the Wii U up so it looks a bit nicer. Um, it's been about time I dust off the Wii U. But yeah, so Final Fantasy 16 and um, Mario Party now with my credit, it was a good crack. I was happy. Um, I was, I was, I was confused to why the front cover looked like that. But um, last time I saw it, I think someone had turned the front cover around, <laughs> so it had the alternate front cover. Um, and back in caches, and um, this was um, one I've been looking for. It's um, Road Rage. It's 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 kind of like an open world. It's, it's sort of like a mix between Road Rash and Carmageddon, from what I've what I've read up on it. Um, so yeah, I decided to go for that. Um, it was five ninety nine in here. CEX, it's gone up to twelve pound. That's an old CEX sticker on the front cover, but yeah, CEX up for twelve quid. So five ninety nine. It was coming in thrifty enough for me to pop on it. But yeah, um, I have I've installed it. I had a quick go. It's not. Uh, I mean, it's a bit ropey. I mean, it might get better. I don't know. <laughs> the jury's out on that one. It might just be trash. But um, I wasn't that impressed when I went on it. But I said, at least I got it for a bargain price. <laughs> if I paid twelve quid, I would have been a bit um, miffed. I reckon. <laughs> But yeah, it was pretty good. I was just eyeballing um, Amazing Spider-Man unboxing that window. <laughs> anyway, so I'm in um, the Imus Emporium, and I've seen this um, red DualShock um, fur, and f on first glance it seemed pretty beat up. But then I looked a bit closer, and I was like, um, it wasn't really that bad. Um, there was one thing wrong with it that on one of the sides, the case won't, you can see it there, there was the case won't shut in properly. But um, it's not my first rodeo with them. Um, putting ps4 pads back together and i'm pretty sure i was well i was pretty sure i was speculating but i was like i'm pretty sure one of the, the tabs that when it closes sometimes they get put the other way around and it don't close properly and all you have to do is lift them up and put them the right way around and then they close so i was like it was 15 quid cex sell all the color variants for 50 quid a piece like if you got a blue one or a red one or anything so it's a 50 quid controller for 15 quid so i thought it was worth the risk and i was right because when i got in i um i undid the thing and it was it was spot on i closed it and everything worked so we're in um the toy everyone in Annabi now um and i, I spot a cheeky copy of um theme park world um <laughs> and most notably about that everyone remembers the advisor popping up I think it's called Buzzy. It's that like little black, black um, round spherical ant looking guy. And he pops up in the corner. It's a bit like the um, paper clip in uh, Microsoft Word. It just annoys you all the way through it. And then I saw Richard Richard Oddman, Oddman um, the Tuesday Night Murder Club um, audio book. Um, which um, it was six quid, but um, it sells for about 20 on eBay. Um, it only that one only came out in 2021, so it's fairly new, um, unabridged as well. So obviously loads of discs. The man who died twice. Um, I've never read any of the Richard Osmond um, novels. I mean, I just know him as the guy out of Pointless. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, it's that um, quiz dude. So I thought I might as well get it. And I and then the last one up, I found an absolute shit ton of audio books in um, the Sage UK. But um, they were like, I wasn't sure about them, but they were only 39 pence a throw, which is really cheap for an audio book of any, any you know, quality. So I was just like, you know what, I'm going to take a punt on all these. Most of them were like Paul Temple, um, BBC Dramas. Um, there's some Ruth Rendell, obviously, in the mix. But um, these Paul Temple ones, they're all like remakes of um, lost um, BBC Dramas. Um they're all done by um, Anthony Stewart Ed out of um, Buffy fame as well. So I was like, oh, it's got someone half decent doing the, the commentary. And the 39, I've paid £6.38 for all of these. £6.38 and um, that, that on a bridge one that you just seen there in the chunky box, that sells for a, about a tenner anyway. So I was like, easy money, easy money, man. I was going to list them all. <laughs> right, so that's everything about this time. Thrifting, if you like this video, be sure to thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can sometimes catch me live at twitch.tv forward slash thriftbytes. You can see what I'm up to on x at um, twitter.com forward slash thriftbytes. You can read the old blog at thriftbytes.com and you can see all these all, all re-uploaded on odyssey at odyssey.com forward slash thriftbytes. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.